in it about uh, accommodation. Of course, we're talking about 30,000 players. About 50% of these players sleep and eat in our system. For this, I have to use a lot of skills. Last year, I used 35 skills all over Oslo. Uh, that's not correct, because mostly of them are in this area. So it's easy to come up here for playing the matches. We play also four, other, four or five other places in Oslo, but here is the main area. Uh, the schools, people sleep in seven, eight days, but some of the team from your country maybe need to come a few days before or go back a few days later because maybe cheaper ticket if you go, don't uh, travel in the weekend. And so I'm always open one school in front of the tournament and have one school open after the tournament. <clears throat> uh, in the schools, we have a cafeteria, we serve the breakfast in the school, there are security 24 hours a day, and uh, I'm very happy that we have no problems, believe me. In each school, it's sleep about three to 500 players. We also use hotels. This year we have 12 or 13 different hotels where people sleep. Not so much more expensive, because I get very, very good prices. And they, these people, of course, eat breakfast in the, in the hotel. And all of the people, we have lunch and dinner for them here. Uh, that happened in the sport hall, just over here. There we can serve 2,500 people in the same time. For dinner, we always have two different uh, meals, one of them always without pig. Um, if you see our, our website, you can find which hotel we have, what, uh, what we can offer for the schools. Uh, the people who live in the schools, all of them sleep for seven or eight nights. Uh, breakfast, lunch and dinner every day. Uh, free transport, t-shirt, photo, free entry to museum, swimming pool, and more. That's what I have to tell about that condition.